as many white socks. Want to kill me, do you? Want to? Of course I want to kill you. I've been dying to kill you for months. Because I'm seeing your son? You say that like it's not a good reason. It's not, Heather. How somehow in your deluded mind you think you're good enough for Franco? Besides, it's not like I haven't killed before. But we get ahead of ourselves. We've got a lot to take care of before the fun begins. Now you want to go somewhere else, but you're always telling me this is your favorite restaurant. <sighs> Look at you. You look absolutely fantastic. Let me see. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're, you're welcome. What is it? Is it, don't tell me, a new moisturizer? Or you've, you've dropped a few pounds? Or maybe it's that moist air in, in Seattle. It, it really suits you. You look drop-dead gorgeous. What are you up to, Lucy? What do you mean, what am I up to? I'm, I'm not up to anything. Bobby, what has happened to you? I, I can't just say a few nice words without being greeted with guarded suspicion. Because whenever you're this nice to me, it's because you either want something or you're hiding something. So, which is it? I'm wondering the same thing. So, don't take this personally, Franco. But no reunion is forthcoming, I understand. Oh, well. So much for Lucy going to bat for me. The last thing I want to do is talk to you about Lucy. Why is that? I thought you and the lovely Miss Co were besties times of infinity. Lucy is my ex-wife. We had a kid together, and that's it. She's a married woman now, okay? Methinks Daddy Dearest doth protest too much. Sonny and I have been in a uh, stalemate for quite some time now. Now, we hit him, he hits back. Uh, the only way to win this little chess match is if we know Sonny's next move. Morgan is our ace in the hole. Oh, enough metaphors. Please, just tell me what's going on. Well, it's quite simple, really. Your little boy toy has been promoted. Morgan is our new mole in the uh, Corinthos organization. I wouldn't say that Julian just let me walk away. Okay, just tell me exactly how it went down. I just, I told him that after what happened at the warehouse with you and Max, that I was done. And he just wished you luck and he sent you on away? No, said, bye. No, so he no, he gave me the, 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 you know, you can't just walk out of this life speech. Okay, what, what was your response? I told him that, that he couldn't force me to stay and that even if he could, that there's no way I'd work with him. Okay, I realized what I did to you, Dad, and, and I couldn't keep going with it. I'm just trying to make it right. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to pry. I was just... No, no, no. It's not your fault. Uh, my wife and I are just going through some stuff right now. Sorry, it sucks. Yeah. Anyway, uh... came up from, uh, New York. How long you lived there? Born and raised. Oh, yeah, me too. Bensonhurst. Nah, Brooklyn, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let me guess, Manhattan, right? Guilty. Yeah. Well, I hate to break it to you, but our men's room here, it doesn't have bidets and attendants. Well, it's okay. They didn't have bidets at one police plaza. Oh, yeah, but they had attendants, yeah? You know? Yeah, they were the best. I never once had to wash my own hands. <laughs> well, I know my reasons for uh, transferring upstate. Why did you leave New York? Because of a case. Somebody poor Charles has been up to no good. I'm sure that's what they call harassment. No, I'm sure they call it adultery. Can you drop the act and just tell me the truth, please? I want some answers. Do you have a wife? Silas, 